Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be exploring five different strategies to generate passive income. And for each of the strategies I'll cover, they're going to require a different effort to get started, so I'll cover that. I'll also cover how tough it is to actually earn at least 100 bucks a month and how much ongoing maintenance was required once the actual thing is set up. And from my personal experience, these five sources bring in well over $30,000 a month every month and each with its own set of challenges. So keep that in mind. It took me years to reach this level, so don't just expect this overnight, but with this guide, and I wish I had this guide when I started my journey, but with this guide, I have a feeling you're gonna absolutely crush this thing. You ready? Let's get started. First off, when I say passive income, I use air quotes because I have a problem calling it passive. See, the term implies that you don't have to do anything, which just simply isn't true. You get paid in direct proportion to how much value you provide, or as Elon Musk puts it, how many problems you actually solve. So this video is gonna highlight five different strategies to offer value and solve problems for others in a way that once you set it up, will require minimal time and generate some income. Let's give an example. So consider you are writing a book. You put in the work once to write it, you publish it, and then it's out in the world. And every time it sells, you start to earn royalties. Well, I would consider that passive income. You start making money even while you sleep because you've created something, you've created some value that keeps generating revenue. Got it? Excellent. Let's look at the five strategies. Strategy number one, trading Forex. Now, trading Forex involves buying and selling different currencies to make a profit. It's high risk, it's high reward, and it's a different type of strategy that demands a solid understanding of market trends, market scanning, and strategies all around how to make money in that field. Once you master it though, you can absolutely start to automate your buy sells when you actually get out, stop losses in different ways, and you can even utilize things like trading bonds. Now, this is something that I honestly, I, I wish I'd learned years ago. It has profoundly impacted my financial mindset. Initially, I was, I was dead against it. I thought I was gonna have to be glued to a screen all day, buying and selling and, uh, and, and but with a sound strategy, honestly, a good trading plan and good mentors and an education, plus a little bit of courage, you're gonna need that, you'll be doing well in no time. Now, difficulty to start out of five, I'd probably give it a four. It requires learning and understanding of different markets. Plus, there is plenty of resources available so that you can scan through it. I highly recommend signing up to a team or a school. I recommend Elevate Solutions. It's where I work. I work there as a mindset coach. They're excellent at what they do. That's where I actually learned to trade. Now, making $100 a month, I give it about a three out of five. See, depending on your initial investment and market conditions, you can be start seeing returns in just minutes, but you still want a good strategy, right? So make sure you take your time to go through that. Make sure you get a demo account to begin. Just go through a few little safety procedures. As I say, join a school. That's probably your safest bet. After that, you'll be cooking in no time. Maintenance, two out of five. Once you've learned the strategies, you don't have to lead them or read them and know them again. So just know them until you know them off by heart. You'll obviously need to monitor your trades and make sure that you're adjusting your stop losses and when you're getting out, but trading can be almost automatic. And once you get up and you start and you have a goal for the day, I usually wake up, I create my goal, is to create one to 2% on my trading account every single day. I can do that with as little as three to four trades and I'm out, I'm done and I'm making money. Baby, that is exactly where it's at. Strategy number two, rental incomes. Now, owning rental properties, they can provide passive income. Now, whether it's residential or commercial, real estate's always out there making sure that you're renting properties, it offers really significant returns. And while most people only think of housing, there's other opportunities like caravans, glamping tents, boats, cars, bikes, scooters, phones, ATM machines, all right? I'll give you an example. A couple of years ago, I was actually approached about buying a plane, full plane, eight seats, two engines, propellers, you name it, right? And initially I was hesitant because I know nothing about buying a plane. But afterwards I sort of thought about it and I thought, look, if I can get a really good rental opportunity out of it. So I looked around and I actually found a company that was able to do regular trips in this plane going backwards and forwards to a place in Australia called Palm Island. Now, 
it was super cool. Everything was great. Owning the play was great for the ego, right? But it was also highly stressful. In fact, the stress and the different maintenance costs <laughs> made me start to reconsider. I had it for about 18 months and then I ended up selling it just purely so life could be simpler. And I would recommend getting a rental. I'd probably recommend the same. Make sure you look for something a little simpler, maybe like caravans, maybe something that when it doesn't crash, it doesn't kill everybody involved, right? Difficulty to start, I'd give it about a four out of five. And the reason I do this is because it's gonna require a significant initial investment and market understanding. Just do your homework, think lateral. It can be really rewarding. Making a hundred dollars a month in this one, one out of five. Once you have your tenant, it's easy as to make a hundred dollars plus more every single month. Maintenance, I give it about a three out of five. Honestly, managing properties or assets can be time consuming and really costly. But hiring somebody like a property manager can actually ease the burden. That again, brings a whole different range of challenges. Strategy number four, selling digital products or even courses. Now, digital products like eBooks, or printables, or even courses can be sold just repeatedly without additional production costs. Super easy to start, difficulty to start. I'll probably give it around about a one out of five. Honestly, creating high quality digital products, it takes time and effort, but anyone can do it. If you don't know how to do it, just reach out to somebody who does, and I'm sure that they'll be able to help you out. Making $100 a month in this one, a little bit harder. I'd say three, three and a half out of five, because effective marketing in this one is absolutely the key to driving sales. You need effective marketing. And as I say, if you don't know how to do that, that's okay, just reach out to somebody who genuinely does. Maintenance in this one, two out of five, maybe even a one out of five. See, minimal maintenance is required once the product is created and it's listed. It's a perfect, perfect thing once it's done. Next strategy I'm gonna talk about is creating a paid community or even joining something like an MLM or a multi-level marketing company. Building a community or MLM, as I say, it's a group where members pay for access to exclusive content, different events or services, or even different products. It can be lucrative, right? While MLM isn't for everybody, I get that. I know there's a lot of people that actually do it, they try it, and with a solid business plan and a strategy, you can actually be bloody profitable. In fact, I've reached the top position of two different MLM companies just using the same strategy, and I didn't even know what I was doing. And although I've moved on now since into different other fields, I use those strategies and I speak about those and I enjoy speaking about them at different MLM company events all around the world, just sharing those insights. They really do work. The difficulty to start though, I put it pretty high. I'd say it's about a four out of five. And it, the reason I say that is because it requires an existing audience or it requires a compelling value proposition to make sure that you're attracting your members. Making a hundred dollars a month in this one, two out of five. With a good value proposition, super easy. It's achievable to get members paying and continually to pay their monthly fee. Maintenance on this one, three out of five. A little bit more, and the reason why is because you'll need strategies for community engagement and also so that you can retain your members. Last strategy I'm gonna speak about is affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing involves promoting products from other companies and earning a commission on those sales. A little bit different than what I mentioned before, and it can be done through blog posts, social media, or even your YouTube channel. Unlike MLM though, which focuses on building a network of distributors, affiliates typically work independently, much like social media influencers. The difficulty to start in this one, you can sign up to be an affiliate super easy. I give that a one out of five. Seriously, you can start promoting products using your unique links as, as like it, it'll take you like 10 minutes and it's usually free. Successful influencers do this right across YouTube. Every single YouTube that I watch, they're always affiliating to something. In fact, the company that I work with, the company that I'm a founder of, High Peak Pro, we have our own affiliate program. So if you're looking for one, check us out. Uh, we'd be happy to share some marketing materials and make sure that we get you in the right direction. And as I say, it's free and you can earn up to 40% of the sale just by simply just promoting a link to the right business. It's crazy. Making a hundred bucks in this one, two out of five. Honestly, driving traffic to your affiliate link, it's really easy. It requires just a decent audience and effective marketing strategies. And if you don't have those, 
Just surround yourself with people who are knowledgeable and know their stuff. Maintenance in this one, two out of five. Once you have a steady flow of traffic, maintenance is relatively low. The money will just start pouring in. It's one of the most effective sales channels that you'll ever find. Okay, that's it. Guys, look, building a channel like this one, it's hard work, man. It's highly competitive, it's fun, and it's rewarding, but it's bloody hard. So if you could do us a favor, help me out, like and subscribe. It would be super, super grateful for it. Honestly, you have no idea. Even better if you could actually suggest the channel to a friend, share it on your page. You'd be helping me out more than what you probably realize. And if you like the video and you wanna start your own journey towards maybe a passive income, check out this short playlist. It's got some of our favorite videos for entrepreneurs and it's full of tips on how I actually started my business, how I learned to code, how we started to learn to market, learn sales, much, much more. Look, guys, thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I'll thanks and I'll see you in the next.